Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the finest Dawn of War unification cast this side of East Yorkshire. And today we have a 1 versus 1 on Quest Triumph. Over in the Death Corps of Creed corner, we've got Creed. And over in the Imperial Guard corner, we have Huntington. And today it's a special game because once again I'm joined by my friend, colleague and fellow co-host, Laughing Max. How are you doing, young man? Hi, um, I'm doing great. I'm looking forward to this, uh, how should I say, uh, um, Imperial Guard um, <laughs> yeah. game here because it's Imperial Guard with Death Core of Creek, so a lot of a lot of dead bodies will be there, I, I am sure. Absolutely, we are looking forward to a meat grinder of a match. So ob obviously they um, uh, we're all familiar with the Imperial Guard, they can jump into their infantry commands and whatnot for defensive purposes, but the Death Corps of Krieg, they, they only really have access to the bunkers, so that'll be interesting to see how the defensive plays between these two players are going to go ahead. Yeah, speaking of defensive, look at this offensive bunker of Creed there. This is a typical p uh, position for a turret in on uh, Crest Triumph, uh, one of my favorite max, uh, maps to, to uh, say it here. So uh, this is a very traditional position for a turret, but we also know that the bunker is not your traditional turret. It's uh, a little better than that. Ah, and, and speaking of a uh, traditional place to pu uh, put a turret, uh, on the Imperial Guard side, on the bottom left, uh, bottom left hand corner, we do have a heavy bolt that's being popped down here. We do have a Tech Priest engines here going to be engaging these Jaegers in close combat while the conscripts of the Imperial Guard are going to fire away at long distance on the northern side. We do have a Lord General's command squad coming down to provide some supporting fire as well as the Imperial General also on the way in. That's, that's uh, interesting. We basically have two infantry and two command squads here. Um, on paper, I would say that the guards are oh, its conscripts now. Okay, so we have pretty good Jaegers and we have two equal good command squads. They are in melee now. How, how awesome is that? But I guess yeah, the the, the Lord General command squad is uh, ranged with these uh, ranged bodyguards. So let's see how this pans out. It's gonna say it's all gonna boil down to if the Imperial Guard player can get this heavy bolt to it up and running. Once that's online, then. These conscripts will have all the firepower that they need. These Jaegers are staying a good distance away from the command squad. Lord General, not quite going for... I, I'd imagine that it would, have, it would have benefited going for some veteran bodyguards in melee rather than the at-ranged variants, but there we go. It does seem that the Tech Priest engine seer has been killed by these Jaegers, so turret won't be going up anytime soon. And no, no, tech, no tech priest is on the way to uh, build it up, so it's just sitting there in yellow HP. Um, I, myself, and a lot of players seem to like the uh, veteran bodyguard range because most of the damage you will be doing in ranged anyway. Um, but okay, he, he has cancelled the turret and placed a more defensive one. I would like it to have a little more on the left so it can cover this relic as well. Uh, this position, it doesn't do that much, to be honest. I was going to say, the next thing that they'll be contesting is either the Relic or he'll be trying to push this bunker off on this northern side. Because this bunker, I imagine, is within range of their northern strategic point in the base. So he won't be able to really build up a listing post all that well over there. It does seem like the Krieg player has got the advantage in the early game. 86 and 10 for the uh, Creed player compared to the 50 and 10 of the Imperial Guard. So definitely a advantage for the Death Corps at the moment. Do have a push of guardsmen and conscripts going back towards this bottom left hand side of the map. Uh, Jaegers and the command of uh, the Lord General's command squad standing in the heavy cover. Let's see how this goes. Wow, the, the disruption! <laughs> I always find it really uh, uh, astonishing. The disruption of the priest, I think it is uh, the psycho. Yeah, I mean, he, uh, Huntington needs to do something. He has like no economy. As you said, he cannot build his listening post in the north and his base. This is why you want a turret there. That's why it's a traditional position. But he seems to push back uh, the death core, death core, death core now and can retake his points if he can stabilize a bit. Um, That's it. There yeah, we go. We've got that heavy bottle turret coming back on. They are capturing that strategic point. Relic currently not being uh, touched by the Imperial Guard player. We do have the observation post on the death core's uh, relic. We've got a Commissar coming out, we have a Vox Center, so potential for taking up into Tier 2 soon. In fi uh, field Command for the Imperial Guard hasn't quite gone for their Tier 2 yet, but they are upgrading the listening purse, so the economy is going to slowly but surely come online for them. Yeah, actually the Death Corps is uh, uh, now 
switching to uh, some soldiers. They started with three Jaegers and now with the Vox Hunter this maybe indicates a, a longer tier 1.5. He adds grenade launchers on the one soldier squad he produced now. Um, for Huntington he has no economy to make a tier 1.5. Five transition really here uh, in my head needs to transition to tier two directly. Absolutely, and especially with this um, uh, what what should we say? Like this blob of infantry at the moment, it's it's going to be a bit of a difficult time for him to take up into tier two because he he hasn't got the numbers to push back these uh, Death Corps of Krieg chaps. So he's going to have to invest a little bit more either in some more heavy bolters, maybe maybe even just get an infantry command uh, next to this heavy bolter turret just to help with the uh, defensive nature of of what he's going to go for here yeah that's actually a pretty good idea if nothing just to add some hit points where the enemy needs to go through with its grenade launchers um the grenade launchers should outrange the turret but he goes in with the uh, inquisitor first because of her commander armor and now the jaegers have also added a crack grenade armor and look how quickly this turret is going down jesus, jesus christ that's uh it's like as if that turret was never even born. But the Lady Inquisitor has taken a fair bit of damage, but mind you, in the grand scheme of things, she could just join... Ah, there we go. She just joined the squad, and now she'll be right as rain. Death Corps capturing the critical location in the middle. We don't seem to have critical location victory turned on for this match, so it's just going to be a case of who can bash the other person the best. More soldiers coming out of the field barracks over at the Death Corps base and the soldiers are now pushing up towards the listing post are going to stop grading it now it's a little bit too late for for any use really because by the time it upgrades they may as well, we might want to cancel the upgrade to be fair you should really cancel it it's uh almost 200 resources down the train if he does not he did not um, but he, as I um, suggested, got, um, was going to tier 2, he's almost there, 80% done. And um, on my book, he, uh, I don't know about the crack grenade launchers, are they good against, um, uh, how should I say, are they good against uh, vehicles? I'm not sure, uh, probably are. Um, I think maybe um, transition into uh, vehicles, but he adds now a late tactical control, which suggests to me that he will go for uh, upgraded guardsmen. Maybe with um, long less and heavy stubbers, which should outrange or even uh, match the range with these grenade launchers, but should melt the uh, infantry blob of the Death Corps. The Death Corps in general has, um, n how should I say, worse infantry than uh, Imperial Guard with the Imperial Guard upgrades. We will see how how uh, his weapon upgrades and whatnot will fold and unfold now. That's it. Well, he's got to get those infantry units online as soon as possible because this is quite a sizable uh, mass of Krieg bodies. This listing post has been upgraded and they do have a nice fallback line of a heavy bottle turret and a listing post. It's not it's not going to be the most difficult thing to defend, but mind you, like we say, we've only got two squads of guardsmen. Got a, well, we've got a heavy weapons team on the way, so it does look like Huntington is going to fall back to defensive line. Uh, of, of well near his base and then just hope that maybe this uh, heavy weapons team will be able to help him push and break out once again on the northern side this bunker has been kind of just left alone really it's, it's been more of a more of a deterrent for attacking than anything else conscripts on the south kind of a bit lost for words at the moment they, they can't quite get back home so they're just going to hide uh, near this critical location Hide awesome. and seek. Um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, as I said, he adds uh, the heavy stubbers on one team, and he also has now the plasma cannon on the heavy bolter turret. Just imagine this turret being a little more to the left, what he would could have reached it. But it's it's okay. It's on this side now. With the heavy stubbers, he may be able to um, deal some damage here. But uh, the second squad does not have any weapon upgrades. I would have liked one long last or at least for some uh, long range support. But the heavy weapon squad is in a good position. He should stick to the uh, heavy bolter for now and should not do any weapon upgrades. That's it. And I've also noticed as well that there's no um, commissars at the moment. So the long range damage from the grenade launchers and, and crack launchers uh, they'll be able to break the uh, morale of the guardsmen quite quickly. And at the moment, they've only got 100 morale, so they've had no morale upgrades from the tactical control. So they'll be very, very yeah, vulnerable without those commissars. 
And these upgrades are really cheap, you really want to get them immediately. Um, they also give you a little bit of extra health for every guardsman, which is something I didn't knew for the most, for the longest time. But yeah, um, some sergeant on the squad would be nice, and as you said, uh, a commissar or two on, to uh, increase the morale and also health regeneration. I, I would suggest one um, commissar on one squad and a priest on the second squad. So priests are available in tier 2 as well, so here. If he wants to play infantry versus infantry, this would be the way to go. Or he needs to transition into vehicles, but um, the Death Corps of Creek are already tier 2 now as well. And as we speak, adding the assembly plant as well. Yeah, and um, uh, coming down on the on the left hand side, we do have a sniper kill team. So they'll be able to certainly, at least possibly, take out this heavy weapons team from a distance. Although, although that, that's actually quite a decent bit of range, that heavy weapons team. Able to slow, but surely chunk away at the bunker. I do imagine that the engineers will be able to outheal the DPS brought in by the heavy weapons team. But uh, it'll certainly at least keep them occupied for the moment. Bunker firing back in its own way. Uh, the Imperial Guard from the Tactical Control, I did notice that they went for the extra heavy weapons upgrade. So it does seem like that the plasma guns and the grenade launchers from these guards now coming in thick and fast free heavy stub as well as one plasma gun for one unit so at the moment the Krieg don't look all that confident in assaulting at the moment they might just sit on the back of their what is what what would the word be their economic advantage I mean it's 152 and 60 compared to 86 and 40 so all, all the Krieg need to do is just sit back out tech yeah. and then push in when they get their big units yeah they, they yeah just take up you have double the economy now so uh the, the Imperial Guard needs to uh, come out and play. So just sit here. The bunker is in a really good position. He also added a, a gun turret emplacement. Um, I would imagine he would go uh, tier 3 at some point, adding some hellhounds now. So maybe the hellhounds is uh, the thing he wants to push in with. We will see. Um, I could also imagine, as you said, just yeah, getting a heavy weapon squad or something, uh, setting up yourself and then, yeah, Play, play the long game. That's it. I mean, to be honest, a Hellhound is probably exactly what the Doctor ordered. Move that in, use it to tank all the damage, well, as much damage as he can, and uh, try and break the morale on some of these some of these soldiers. Now, am, now, am I correct in, in thinking that it's exclusively the soldiers that, when they have the morale broken, they just charge into combat? Yeah, it's no, it's uh, for for Jaegers as well. I'm not sure about the Grenadiers, but Jaegers do have this as well. Uh, the, the, the loss of control that is uh, with no morale. But the Jaegers, even if the morale is broken, can still use their Jaeger bombs <laughs> to, um, to get out of uh, out of trouble. So, Bad stuff. Jesus, this, that this, Hellhound uh, did not survive very long. But the bunker has been taken out. Uh, the Jaegers on the left hand side have had their doom being witnessed. This gun to emplacement looks like it's going the way of the dinosaur. Second Hellhound moving in will be upgraded with a Devil Dog, and. The guardsman almost breaking out of that uh, hole there. I mean, to be honest, I mean that the the the, the, the meeting the Krieg smack bang where the strongest might want to take one unit of guardsmen or maybe even one hellhound up north to start harassing these observation posts that are currently unprotected. Uh, Although a, a Krieg hellhound will come in, and this does look like quite a sizable amount of tank and infantry units are going to cause the Imperial Guard all sorts of mischief and hell. Yeah, this is uh, this was devastating. We saw the, the Death Riders coming in, killing a <laughs> unit, and then dying them themselves. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's a really a funny cavalry charge there. But yeah, you're totally right. Um, you, you want to not to use your hellhounds in a straight up fight, especially if the enemy has turrets and uh, crack grenade launchers and whatnot. If he would have gone to the north, as you said, there's a bunker. There are some listening posts, uh, pretty much undefended and for the crabs, but he, he did decide to push in the middle and now pays the price. Um, I'm not sure how he can, can hold this, to be honest. Well, we do have a Valkyrie assault carrier uh, in, in the mix, oh. so there, there is potential for some aircraft play. I imagine that the Hellhounds aren't ideal against aircraft. I'm not even sure if they can even fire upwards the Valkyrie, but it, it will at least add to their defensive capabilities. We are now within range of the Infantry Command and Mechanized Command, so Guardsmen should be able to hold within their own base a little bit better. But as we said before, the, the, the economic difference, the Imperial Guard are going to pull some serious maneuvers out if they want even a slight chance in coming back in this game. 
Yeah, I mean, you see, you saw the uh, Valkyrie Assault Carrier is really mincing infantry, especially uh, the squishy uh, soldiers of the Death Cove Creek. So this will buy him some time, but time for what, really? Um, we are heading tier two, tier three now, actually just uh, hit for Death Core of Creek. I imagine some heavy tanks um, to just move in. The, the Valkyrie is only good against infantry. The, 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 there are some tier three variants which also deal good against, um, um, sorry, uh, against vehicles, but not this one. We have um, special weapon squads for Imperial Guard. Um, this is a new unit. Ooh. Um, these are only three models with one sergeant and have uh, melters for weapons. The, the eyeglasses make me think of... Um, did you ever play Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell? <laughs> no, uh, he actually uses the uh, Mercury Assault Carry. Uh, and I, I never played it, but I, have, I know what you're going for, like these uh, night vision thingy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, the uh, the assault carrier. Obviously, I, for some reason, I, I saw it and I'm like, oh yes, it's got the word carry in it, but it's just an assault vehicle. But no, it can indeed carry. So maybe we're going to see some some flanking maneuvers going on here, avoiding the main bulk of the Death Corps Krieg in the center of the map and going to go. Oh, oh, maybe they're going to, to rescue the conscripts. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> now he's just flying by, saying hello, and now oh that's what uh, what he should do. Go for the enemy uh, base. There are a lot of juicy plasma generators there for the grabs. Um, but we will also see that we they have uh, enabled the exchange program. We have some Ogrins for the uh, Death Corps. They, they are a little weaker than your general Ogrins because you don't have access to priests, but they still should be able to deal with these two uh, special weapon squads, to be honest. We will see. That's it. They do throw a grenade in there, doing a fair bit of damage. Uh, while this is going on, the Motar platoon and a gun turret emplacement is also going to assist uh, these Ogrins in defeating these... Oh. Special weapon squads, and my goodness, that that is a. Uh, I mean, they, they take down the they take down the listening post, but that, that is that is a lot of explosive fire for the Valkyrie and all the lads to, to deal with, really. Yeah, and all the time it was on the ground, the Oakland was flying. Oh, oh no, Valkyrie going down with with her with the two squads inside as well. I was going to say, I imagine Ouch. that with uh, Chimeras when they die, the infantry just kind of fall out, but Valkyries when they die, anything inside them also dies with them so it's, it's quite a risky risky thing to do i think it's an engine thing because it only can load and unload when it's on the ground so i would uh, assume if it's on the ground and it dies you get your squads out as as you are used to but if it dies in the air it's a different entity but also makes sense that if the aircraft is shut down they don't have no uh what are they called in in english the the bags um oh parachutes uh, yeah they have no parachutes so good uh. luck Yep, <laughs> that's it. All you could do is just enjoy the view as you're falling to your own death. Uh, the Death Corps Krieg are once again pushing. This does look like a decent amount of units. They do have some Ragnaroks on the northern side. Using the Ogrins at the front. Join here. That's it. It's, uh, it does look like the... Uh, I mean, if, if they don't win with this push, I'm not sure how else that they, they, they can go about it because uh, I mean, the guardsmen are holding off very very well Ogwin's falling as quick as you like mechanized command full of two boys in inside of them and the, yeah the, the, they've been pushed back once again it's like it's like a cold d day on the on on this uh, on this map today yeah, just because he didn't want to engage with his Rucker Rocks. They were just standing there. Is he just trying out his, his new toys? Because he has like all the money in the world to go for everything he wants to. He has now also a Vendetta. And what did he go for? Uh, more Vendettas, I, I assume. And the Earthshaker platform. So this is... Oof. Ah, how, so how are you going to deal with that one? So it's it's going to be a case of, well, if I can't push into your base like a gentleman, then I shall break in there like a barbarian. And certainly these uh, Ragnaroks aren't mincing with any, any soft words here. They are absolutely annihilating these guardsmen. Guardsmen will narrowly avoid death by going into the infantry command. Mechanized command falling to the power of the cannons on the Ragnarok. And Hellhound also going down as well. This is this has got to be it, Max. This absolutely has to be it. I can't believe any other yeah, way. Yeah. I mean... The, the replay shows me it goes a little longer, but uh, I, I can imagine they are just having fun here. I, I want to see the Earthshaker platform firing because there is a new option that the artillery will automatically fire normally, uh, or before it would be need to, um, how should I say, aimed manually. So I'm looking at this Earthshaker platform. Is it immediately firing? 
No, either they, they haven't activated it or it's a little bugged. Sad. Uh. But maybe he will use it manually. I was going to say, it does have a wonderful firing animation. And uh, everyone in the chat, please press F. The conscripts that have been hiding this entire game have indeed passed away. The soldiers of the Death Guard Krieger finally found them and oh. made, made the Emperor take their souls into his loving embrace. Yeah, the command squad needs to uh, write some letters home, as if he would. Uh, dear, oh dear. Well, it, yeah, does, seem, it does seem that Death Guard Krieger have, have won this, so... Uh, we can use the remainder of our time here just to enjoy uh, the new units of the Death Corps. I do quite like yeah. the very stubby um, gun on the Ragnarok. It's, it's it's a very chunky, chunky weapon by the looks of of things. Demolish or cannon? Yeah, Jesus. Very tasty. We do have a vendetta oh, yeah, head gunship. Gun 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 you can see now how quickly it deals with enemy vehicles. And there it goes. Yeah, that's that's some serious firepower. We do have two two vendettas versus one heavy gunship. Let's let let's see which 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 uh which goes where. Um, the vendetta oh seems dear. to win. Yeah, it's two versus one actually. So that's that's it. We, we, I, I had her. Oh, there, there is a vulture gunship. This one's ideal against aircraft. So the, the imperial guard holding on by the skin of his teeth will not go quietly into that good night. Will try and push back the Death Corps as long as he can. Field Commander doesn't look like it's going to have the best of times. Will end up dying very soon. Air Shaker platform not firing as of yet. It just just kind of sat there. Now some Grenadiers are added if you want to show them off as well. The Tier 3 um, infantry, you could Ooh. call it like a, a Kassakin equivalent, a little weaker in the stats. Um, just heading out base now. Oh, just the yeah. models are so good looking. These are amazing. It's, uh... Yeah, yeah. yeah the Imperial Guard is, um, as they said, we die standing. They they fight to the last man, as they would. Yeah, it's... The last... uh, well, what, what can yeah, we say? Bro. What was it about Cadia? Um, uh, the, the planet broke before the Guard did. And the Field Command, with just 273 health left, we do have a Air Command still online as well. Oh man! <laughs> this is you see now 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 Kree's just just toying with him. He's just, he's just playing with his food at this point. Yeah. Could go in and kill him if you wanted to, but is I I do think you're, you're right. He is he is looking to see what new toys he can play with, so to speak. Is he actually sh shooting up to Ragnarok? Not seeing it. No. Just taking, taking, not delivering. <laughs> That's it. But doesn't doesn't seem like it's got ground to air capabilities, does the Ragnarok? Yeah, at least not with his demolisher cannon, I guess. It's a more of a short range artillery cannon, as uh, when I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, a really interesting game, really, how should I say? Um, uh, not campy. Campy is not the wrong word. They dig in both sides, but uh, the Death Court took a little more of the map, and hence they, they won. That's it. Um, while while we're waiting for this game to, con uh, we, we, we may as well, we may as well finish the cast here. To be honest, yeah. But while we're um, just logging off, uh, do you want to give your uh, channel a shout out? Yeah, sure. Um, as you may notice, I also do a cast for Unification, especially uh, now that the new version is out. Um, it's once a week. I also do some. Um, a guide videos. Um, I have already a full series for the last um, version and will update it uh, slowly but surely. I also plan to doing a, a Let's Play on the new version once the campaign add-on is out. And if you are German and want to, or if you want to learn some German, I also have some uh, more German content, but that's uh, mostly not for the viewers of you, uh, not uh, as interest, interesting for the viewers of your channel, I guess. That's understandable. Before we, before we log off, um, I just want to have a look at this Infernus tank. It's um, it's very much like the, uh, what is it, the land ships of World War One. It's just a, what, what yes. a beautiful, beautiful little model. Um, okay, okay then. Well, um, my name's been Mr. Landshark, but as always, never chop. And I'll see you all in a bit. Peace. Bye bye.